Once again, is Mshamba Marekani. Welcome to All Topics Considered podcast. Fear of missing out for the married women on the HOE phase. She is a standard married horny woman. She spends most of her time on Tinder, Tumblr, Bumble, POF, dreaming about men, dreaming about celebrities, dreaming about kinky stuff she could be doing. Her biggest fear is missing out on the HOE phase. Her biggest fear is that she will never get a chance with other men. Her biggest fear is she would only ever have sex with one man. Your libido and hers never match. Even though you are the one who initiate the sex, she initiates everything else from kinky stuff, mutual masturbation, watching porn, anal, BDSM. She initiates everything else. You are really worried, but you love her. You go along with it. Eventually, she will get tired of asking you to initiate all the kinky stuff I have mentioned. She will feel guilty of forcing you to initiate that stuff or do those things I have mentioned. So you and her are going to have to have a conversation about this. Even though you're not jealous, one of the few days you are going to catch her in especially kinky sessions. They could be masturbation sessions. She could also be on my fan could be a secret lover somewhere on Facebook inbox. But you being the non-jealous husband, you are going to have a conversation with her about it. You are going to tell her you don't really care if she gets off with other people so that you wouldn't have to wonder whether she was getting digged down or having drinks with other women when she goes out there. You are going to let her do what she wishes so that she can no longer ask you for all the stuff that is complementary to sex. So you are going to let her be. Let her go through the HOE phase while you are married to her so that she doesn't hassle or stress you for more than sex. So she is going to be so excited about the new arrangement and honestly speaking it's gonna be more fun for her as she has always been ready loaded up to indulge it's going to be so refreshing for your relationship she's going to say that she's going to feel that it's gonna take a few days until she starts taking advantage of your permission. The guys she has been talking to on Tinder, on Facebook, on Bumble, 
there is just that one guy she has been fantasizing on and she's ready to take advantage so on the first day she's gonna schedule a meet up the guy is going to pick her up or they are going to meet like people always do oh, this is always the scenario i see around the guy drives his vehicle into an agreed upon spot then the wife your wife drives her own vehicle to the agreed spot then when both of them get there the guy lets the woman into his vehicle and they go to a different spot that way no one is able to see her in another guy's vehicle and not think probably that's a guy and his wife so upon going to the secret location she is going to s u c k your wife is going to get the first l o a d from a man other than you this is just the beginning of the h o e phase she's gonna start doing all the weird little things that she has always dreamt and fantasized about but you are unable to fulfill it's gonna go from bdsm threesomes foursomes even scissoring with other women it's gonna get raw it's gonna be fun for her it's gonna be a roller coaster it's gonna be riding the carousel she's going to try it all since for most women you only get to experience the h o e phase once in a lifetime so the roller coaster is gonna go from your best friend she's gonna f u c k your best friend your ex girlfriends that she was always jealous of when you guys met if she goes to the gym she is going to let a few guys maybe her personal trainer f u c k her face somewhere in the gym finally she's going to go for the big boys or oh, now she's becoming daring and she's reaching the peak of her h o e phase so she's going to go for her b o s s who has always made advances and she never responded this time she's going to respond so then she's gonna come back home like always and enjoy you showing her love without her wishing she could do more with you back to you it's going to be a very good h o e phase for her this is insane it's going to back a fire but you the compassionate man you let all this happen actually there was nothing you could do